The story of Jonah, part two. Do you know what the name of the fish was that swallowed Jonah? You know, if you remember the story of Jonah, Jonah, we talked about a little bit, a little bit about it yesterday. Jonah was a prophet of God. God called him to do a certain thing. Jonah said, no, thank you, and decided to go the other way. Gets onto a ship, and a uh, storm comes up, and the sailors are trying to save the ship and save their lives. And Jonah says, throw me overboard. And he gets thrown overboard, and he gets swallowed by a fish. Do you remember or know the name of the fish? Don't bother looking it up because the Bible doesn't tell us what the name of the fish is because it really doesn't matter. But I think I have figured out what the name of the fish was. You see, Jonah was running from God. And it's, it's interesting if you read in the, the uh, second chapter of Jonah, especially Jonah describes what happens. I was on a cruise with my wife here recently and we were walking around the, the deck of the, the uh, cruise ship. And we got to this one place uh, where there were two giant portholes, but there wasn't any glass protecting them. It was an open shot to, to the ocean, you know, several feet below. And I got to thinking about how easy it would be, don't worry, I wasn't there mentally, but how easy it would be for somebody to jump over or to fall over into the ocean, and you would be gone. There would be no hope, no chance. Jonah wasn't jumping off the ship. He was thrown into this ocean. The The waves, the storm was just horrendous. And it says that he sunk to the bottom of the ocean. In fact, in, in uh, the second chapter, it talks about the fact that the seaweed wrapped around his head. Uh, if you've ever been fishing, you know what how tight seaweed can be and it, it can just grab you. He was in a hopeless situation. There was nothing that he could do to free himself from this. And it says he sunk way to the bottom of the ocean, to the bottom, it says, of the mountains. He he was at rock bottom. There was nothing that he could do. But God sent a fish. And that fish, you know, some people say it was a whale. Some people say it was a miraculous fish that God just created. I don't know. And you know what? I don't care. Because... The story is he specially designed a fish to scoop Jonah up. Jonah spent three days, three, count them, one, two, three, three days in the belly of the whale before he was finally vomited up onto shore. Three days of hopelessness. Have you ever been like that? Have you ever been in a situation where you just feel like God has abandoned you? Maybe it's because of things you've done. Maybe it's just what other people have done to you. You've just been at that point where you just, you have no hope. That's where Jonah was. And finally, after coming to his senses and realizing God's love for him, Jonah prayed and God had the fish vomit him up onto the shore so that he could go on and do what God called him to do. Oh, the name of the fish? I think the fish's name was Grace. Because, you see, grace is available to all of us. It doesn't matter whether we are rebelling against God continually or whether we just are struggling with life. Grace is there for us. So do you feel wrapped up by seaweed today? Do you feel like you are at the bottom, like there's no way out? Look for grace. Because grace will take you to new levels. Grace will rescue you. Grace will take who you are, and completely change you into somebody else. That's what Jonah found out. He ran from God. He rebelled against God. But God still showed him grace. And he'll show you grace too. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later.